Hey guys, Starcraft here, and first of all, if you hear noises in the background, I gotta keep in mind my brothers, but I wanna get a video out for the day, and I'm not feeling it to do any editing on my reviews. Trust me, I will get, be getting to Young Justice 3 and 4, and GoBots 4 and 5. I will, I promise, but for right now, I figured I'd do a new spotlight, but I wanted to do one that could get me to out a bit on the quicker side. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm being a bit lazy here, but I gotta get back in the swing of things, so you gotta start somewhere. So, yeah, and, and today, I'm gonna be doing one that I did have on a poll, but didn't win, but I figured, give me a chance to talk about it. And that is, Damien, Son of Batman, by Andy Cooper. Yeah, just Andy. He did the writing and the artwork. And this is basically giving a... From based off of, from what I can get, I believe Andy when he talked over with Grant Morrison, what would lead into Damien becoming Batman, playing off of some of the stuff he did with the artwork and well, just give you the showcase. And yeah, let's just dive right in. We open up with Damien now older with Batman. Keep in mind, we don't know who this is in the mask yet, but yeah, he's all like, "Holy and holy crap!" as he shocked. He finds a bunch of dead people with a bunch of dead fish. Yeah, they're basically looking around realizing just what kind of car uh, carnage it all is. And they keep on looking on. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had to take care of the dogs. But anyway, as I was saying, they're looking around at all the carnage. And as they do, Damien comes by for a mo moment. The person he thinks is Tim. And I like this. Oh no, Tim! Oops, my mistake. Just some poor bastard as ugly as Tim. Nice, Damien. Real nice. We then see Batman is checking through and he's looking, finding someone with one of the fish. But then all of a sudden, it goes off. It's a Joker fish killing Batman. Which basically goes along with what, um, yeah. It's very similar to what happened with Jason Todd. D uh, Damien's running through to Batman, just saying, Batman, Batman, get out of here. And then he finds him dead. Which again, is something that Grant Morrison did set up in uh, one of his other issues. Is that, you know, I mean, in the future, Damien finds a dead Batman and he eventually takes over. There's a funeral and everything, and then he's basically gone, ba gone to see his grandfather. And see, it was Talia. And see, Raish and, yeah, Raish and Talia. And it's basically... They tell him what needs to be said. You join Batman's side. The only way you're not an Al Ghul, you're a Wayne. The only way you're you must take the uh, the place. You must become the next Batman. And Damien's actually like, you freaking nuts! Really? This was something he's been wanting for so long, and yeah, he decides to keep going on as Robin, as he then starts to well kill off the bad guy. Now he is cut loose. He kills off Croc, he kills off Mr. Freeze, he kills off Jack and Apes, which actually does have a bit of a continuity error later. But yeah, he's all covered in blood. Again, the artwork by Andy Kubert. I'm glad he, st he stuck around with DC because his style really fits well. And more so than Adam, he's able to keep up in a timely fashion. We then see, um... Damien has gone to a church as he's talking with someone. It's never made clear, but it's implied to be that this is Gordon now. I think, anyway. As he's just talking with him, confessing everything, and yeah, basically he's all upset. Uh, and, you know, he's all upset. And we then find out that some villain named the Chipmunk is found dead, as Alfred, still alive, still helping, is chastising Damien, but Damien chews him out saying Batman is gone. Then he's about to go out again, and then Bruce shows up. Yeah. Turns out that was Dick that died. Which, once, that's one thing I like about this. Morrison says that Batman died. He, it was never specified it was Bruce, and that he was taken over for Bruce. In this case, Bruce has not been Batman. So, yeah. And he's like, stay right there. What the hell do you think you're doing? And then it leads into, well, Bruce is just telling him off. Basically saying, it doesn't take the world's greatest detective to realize that you are responsible for all those executions. I'm here to end it, Damien. Now! And 
Yeah. Basically, he didn't start saying it was your principle that brought us to those do and those docks in the first place. And, well, they go into a fight. Again, this whole bit of this book is just to showcase, more to showcase Andy's artwork, and it works very well. Hold on a second. There we go. Much better. <laughs> and, yeah, they get into a bit of a scuffle, a fight. And um, Damien on uh, uh, Bruce is starting to win until he falls over from a heart attack. Yeah, he's gotten that old by this point. And when Damien's trying to help, Alfred tells him, "Haven't you done enough? Get out of here now!" And he leaves. He goes back to the priest and just continues on confessing, just simply saying like he doesn't know what to do. But then he soon realizes he has to become Batman. And, well, he does, as he finally gets his own costume, while, meanwhile, Bruce is, well, he's in the, um, in, in, uh, in intensive care back at the, at the manor, as Damien shows up, ready to become the next Batman, in that outfit that Andy designed, and, yeah, it's very interesting, and, you know, as he go, you know, starts looking around, and finds out that the Joker cell is damaged. But then we see this weird creepy nurse, nurse ratchet like, the Joker eyes, is someone sudden in the in Wayne Manor taunting Bruce. Uh, and be a bit seductive. Meanwhile, um, we have another villain. Damien comes in, fights them off, and basically um, it, uh, yeah, he basically sent falling. And, you know, because they basically got the upper hand of him. He ends up in the water, drifting ashore. Yeah, nice first outing, Damien. As meanwhile, and Alfred soon finds him, brings him back, and tries to help him. But as he's ready to sip a cup of tea, he collapses himself. All the stress, all the worries, everything, and he collapses dead. But all of a sudden then, the cat that was nearby, the one that Damien named Alfred, comes up to him and starts talking to him. Then basically it's like Alfred passed over to the cat or something. Very supernatural. Meanwhile then we see um, this shark-like guy. Again, these freakish characters that Andy and Grant Morrison came up with are just interesting. They take it over a bus and Damien comes in and just starts kicking their ass. Yeah, again, reminding us just how brutal Damien is. Is, yeah, he is just fighting all these guys off. Again, the artwork on this is extraordinary. It's incredible. But this is also a very quick read. There's a lot of dialogue here, but it's just going over a lot of the details. As, well, it looks like um, Damien is an unwise about what's going on with his father until he makes his way up and finds a Joker card. So he makes his way back to the docks, back where it happened. As he finds his dad banged up, and then we find, well, a new guy taking over as the Joker. A very more ape-looking guy. As he's mocking him, saying like, I, and this is the uh, home for retired jokesters. As we then go into the final issue. As, uh, as well, he means not doing so hot again. As he's just being taught and knocked around. These gorillas are biting him. And all the while, this new Joker is taunting Bruce, just mocking him. And, well, they start to, uh, soon, Damien starts to win out, gaining the upper hand as he comes right up towards the guy. And, yeah, basically he's right, you know, mocking him, bringing about what the Batman does, holding a gun right at Bruce's head. And then Damien just comes in, tackles him, beats him up, and it looks like he kills him for a moment. It looks like he just rips him open. And yeah, he leaves, gets his father out of there. And yeah, he Bruce is just so weakened to um, to tell you know not say anything. Turns out though he didn't kill the Joker, the new Joker. It's the new joke. Sorry, new Joker is making his way up. And then yeah. The real Joker is somehow still alive and he killed him. Uh, they never go anywhere with this.
but it's still, look at Andy Kubert's Joker. Just look at that. That is a great Joker, isn't it? As meanwhile, back at the cave, we're seeing all this crime still going on. Everything is just, you know, and Damien's heading out to go deal with some of it. Some people are praising, uh, are talking all about it. And then all of a sudden these four guns come out and it ends with Damien charging in. Okay, let's get one thing out of the way. Andy Kubert is a great writer. And the writing on this is good. It's pretty strong, but for what it is. And showing that Andy is one of the good, those good artists to um, write or transition, uh, you know, the guys who transition from just doing artwork to doing some writing. Because he didn't have much of assistance here. And it tells you he's picked up on stuff. And again, probably playing off some notes that Grant gave him. The thing is about this, it just it feels like, was this really needed in the before issues, which I would say was probably two issues too many. That's probably the one problem I had with this. This is clearly done again to showcase the art and give Andy a chance to do all this, but a lot of this stuff just felt like by the end of it, it feels like, okay, what's the difference? Now, there's some bonus features in this deluxe edition, like the issue of Batman 666 that she had, Damien as um, the new Batman, and then from Batman um, 700, where again, Damien is Batman as he's trying to go after two, the new Two-Face who has captured and Jokerized for, and not killing him, but just for a brief moment, Terry McGinnis. Nice tie into Batman Beyond. And then we have a whole bunch of, you know, scripts and designs and everything. And, oh, right down to this. That actually appeared once in a an annual for Batman and Robin, where Damien is actually wearing his future Batman outfit as his father's off on some journey and everything while he's taking care of business. Again, I do like Damien. I think he is a good character, but this, I'm not sure if this is really Damien or not. This just came up like a, I mean, this is a possibility. This is supposed to be that possible future that eventually we, we find out is will lead into a very de you know, destruction. Which, given what we then find on Batman Incorporated, makes Talia's involvement here make even less sense. But I'm sure Andy, by this point, he was already off doing other projects. He probably didn't know any of that. So I take this as a self-contained thing that doesn't tie directly into what Grant did. But at the same time, though, it gives us a possible way of how he got there. So... I'm back in getting the back in the swing of things. Tomorrow, I am probably going to be doing, I might record it here and now, I might record it later, but I'm going to be talking about Gendy Tarkovsky's Cage. I'll be doing that next because, again, nice little short, sweet thing. Not a whole lot to talk about, but enough to showcase everything. So, yeah, trying to get back in the swing of things. Like I said, I was on a bit of a hiatus and things have been going a bit up and down, so I'm trying to get back to daily again. So, Till then, hope that was good enough for you, and, and take care.